everyone. Welcome to your Pilates slide class. For equipment today, all you're going to need is a set of gliders. So we'll only use two at the end, but you will want two so that you can have one hand on each. I'm using dish towels on hardwood floor. If you're on carpet, paper plates work well, or those plastic gliders. If you are using something other than a dish towel as your glider, I also want you to have a dish towel on hand because we will grip it in our hands and have it behind our head for the first part. So two gliders and a dish towel. If you're new to Pilates slide classes, these are a mix of a traditional Pilates mat class with a mega former inspired sliding sequences. Class is pretty much a continuous flow, one thing into the next, into the next, but we shift the muscle group focus as we go. So endurance is a big challenge in these classes. A great way to modify is to pause the video after every chunk. So to give you a little roadmap of class today, we'll start with some flexion-based core work. You could do that and then pause. Then we come into some side body work for the lats and the outer hips. We're then gonna move into some standing sliding leg work. We're then gonna repeat the side body and leg work on the other side. And then we'll finish up with some prone work and some sliding upper body work to bring everything to center. If this is your first Pilates slide class, I have a Pilates slide 101 class that kind of slows everything down, shows you ways to modify that's really helpful, and I would start there. Uh, you can find that in the Patreon archives. I'll also link to it below in the video description. We'll start class with a quick warm up. We'll finish with a quick cool down. Uh, you don't need any equipment for your warm up, but we will want to have one towel close by um, when we go. We'll go from our warm up into some flexion based core work laying on our mat. So just have the dish towel lengthwise and somewhere easy to grab. And then let's come into a tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So we're going to start with cat cow, but we're going to do it sequentially, articulating the spine, starting with the tailbone. So start in neutral. I want you to inhale to prepare. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to tuck the tailbone under and vertebrae by vertebrae, you're going to come into this flexed position. Now I want you to stay for an inhale. And on your next exhale, reverse it. So again, start with the tailbone, untuck it. We're going to come through neutral and find a little bit of extension. Stay for an inhale. And then as you exhale, we tuck the tailbone vertebrae by vertebrae, coming into this flex position. Stay for an inhale, sending that breath into your mid back. Exhale, uncurl the tailbone vertebrae by vertebrae, articulating through the spine, finding some extension. Inhale here. One more time. Exhale, start with your tailbone, work your way up to the rest of the spine. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, untuck the tailbone, lower, middle upper spine, find extension, stay for an inhale. And then I just want you to elongate the spine to neutral. From here, let's take the back of our right hand to our forehead, and then I want you to shift the hips back about six inches to take some weight out of this left hand. We're gonna twist. Inhale, it's an open twist. And then on an exhale, you bring that right elbow towards the left forearm. Inhale, open twist, exhale, close it. So our goal here is to mobilize to the thoracic spine. So this twist is coming from the mid spine, not your shoulder. One more. And then come through center, shift back forward. So this left shoulder is over the left wrist. And I want you to reach that right arm forward. We're going to do a side bend. So to start, you're going to bring that right arm over to the left. And then you're going to bend that elbow, pull it in towards your hip as you side bend into the other direction. So reach over to the left pull over to the right twice more last time right hand comes down to the mat same thing left side back of the hand to the forehead shift the hips back six inches inhale open twist exhale close it One more. Come through center, shift forward again, left arm reaches forward. We're gonna do that side bend. So you start by side bending over to the right, and then you're gonna pull that left elbow in towards your hip as you crunch over to the left. So we've done spinal extension and flexion. We've twisted, now we're getting in some lateral flexion. One more time. 
Now both hands down in tabletop. Last thing we're gonna do in tabletop is for the hips. So I want you to start knees wide, feet together. So we have external rotation in that hip joint. And we're just gonna rock back, butt to your heels and forward. When you rock forward, you can bring the hips farther forward than the knees. So you get a little bit of extension through the front of the hip joint. One more. Come through center and then we're gonna switch it. Now knees together feet apart so we're internally rotated within the hip joint. Same thing, we're gonna rock back and forward but the range of motion is gonna be a lot smaller probably. Twice more. Last time. And then I want you to cross the ankles so that you can come to a seated position and let's bring the feet in front of us. Arms are going to reach forward. We're gonna do an arm circle into a hip lift, so kind of putting together shoulders and hip mobility. So the right arm is going to reach up. You're gonna flip the palm as you circle it back behind you. The hand plants on the mat, push your feet down, lift the hips up, sweeping the left arm over. We're gonna lower those hips down to the mat and circle the arm back to start, and then just take it over to the left. Left arm circles up and around, plant the palm, lift the hips. Oh, that should feel good. Keep alternating, over to the right. Last time over to the left. And then I want you to just bring both hands behind you. You can lean back a little bit. Feet are as wide as your mat. And we're just gonna windshield wiper those knees over to the right and then over to the left. We're gonna come into our opening core section up next. We're gonna grab that dish towel. It's gonna be at the base of our skull. One more time each side. And then I want you to grab that towel and I want you to roll down to the mat. So we're gonna bring that towel behind the base of our skull for support. Your elbows are wide, but you can see them in your peripheral vision, so they're not too wide here, okay? We're not flaring open through the rib cage. So we're gonna come into an ab curl position. On an exhale, it's a gentle nod of, it, of the chin, and then <sighs> gaze at the knees, you're in your ab curl position. On your next exhale, we're going to bring those knees up to tabletop, legs can be together. Now, we're gonna start gentle and we'll gradually dial up the intensity. We're gonna alternate tapping one foot to the mat. On an inhale, right toes tap the mat. On an exhale, <sighs> up through tabletop. Inhale to lower, <sighs> exhale to lift, side to side. So the reason I, want us, I wanted us to start this core section with the towel here is because supporting your head like this, it requires you to kind of activate through this armpit area, okay? And that is gonna be a theme throughout class. One more each side. And now we're gonna add a twist. So as the right foot drops down, we're just gonna twist over to the left. Exhale, come through center, other side. Inhale to lower, exhale through center, twist. Staying in that ab curl position, upper shoulders off the mat. Now how we're gonna ramp it up from here is instead of having the knees bent and lowering that foot to tap the mat, up next, it's gonna be more like a traditional bicycle crunch. We will press one foot out at a hover, straightening the leg, and then bring it back in. One more time each side. Pause through center. Now we're gonna continue this. I want you to flex the feet. We're gonna press one leg straight at a hover at a time. So you twist, center, keep it slow. Twist, center. That leg is only extending as low as you can, maintaining a neutral spine. If your lower back is peeling off the mat and you're feeling strain there, then you need to press your leg a little higher. Keep breathing. We're gonna bring our head down to the mat up next. We're gonna keep the towel though. Arms will reach up to the ceiling. We'll pause with our legs at tabletop. One more each side. 
knees at tabletop, take that towel out from behind your head, reach those arm up, arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to do a dead bug. We're gonna start alternating legs as the arms reach overhead. So as you inhale, I want you to press that right leg forward as the towel sweeps overhead. <sighs> Exhale, bring back through center. Alternate to start. Now I want you to notice where that bent knee is. I want it over your hips, not over your chest. So we're not rolling into a little ball. Oh, I just got to scoot back so I don't hit my couch. Now you can always switch the breath pattern. So it might be helpful to exhale as you push out so you stay connected to your abdominal wall. Inhale as you come in. Find the breath pattern that works for you. I just want to make you to make sure that you're not holding your breath. Now, as you do this, I still want you active through the upper body. So you're thinking of pulling apart on that dish towel. Coming up, what we're going to do is we're going to take this to both legs together at the same time as the arms go overhead. If that is too much, I want you to drop the towel and I want you to bring your hands underneath your butt for support. One more each side. Both legs together, I want you active through the adductor, so squeeze the legs in towards each other. Legs extend out, arms overhead, bring it back into tabletop. Only as low as you can, maintaining neutral. Four more. We're gonna come into a teaser series up next. Last time, bring the knees into tabletop and pause. So to start, we're gonna do a teaser with the knees bent. So I want you to reach your arms overhead, biceps by the ears. As you inhale, arms are gonna to start to sweep up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, I want you to nod the chin and we're gonna come up to balance behind the sitting bones and we're going to elongate through the upper spine, reaching the arms overhead. Reach the arms forward and vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna roll back down to the mat to starting position, arms overhead. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale, nod the chin, vertebrae by vertebrae, you come to balance behind the sitting bones, arms overhead, elongate through the upper spine, staying scooped through the lower spine. Lower the arms, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll back down to the mat, arms overhead, twice more, and then we ramp it up. Last time like this. Now we're gonna continue doing this, but when the arms go overhead at the top, the legs are gonna straighten as well, okay? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, nod the chin. Come to balance behind your sitting bone. As the arms reach up, can you straighten those legs? Bend the knees, lower the arms, vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll down to the mat, arms overhead. We have one more advancement here. Two more like this. Last time, and then we're gonna keep the legs straight, okay? All right, now you're gonna keep the legs straight. Lower the arms, vertebrae by vertebrae, return to the mat, arms overhead. Inhale, arms up, exhale, nod the chin, roll up, elongate through that upper spine. You can do it, just three more. <sighs> Legs are staying at that hover, torso is just rolling up to meet them in that V position. <sighs> Final time here, we're gonna hold at the top. Hold at the top. Here for four, three, two, one. With control, I want you to roll down to the mat, hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Awesome job, woo! All right, take a second to recover, and then guess what? We're doing that one more time. All right, you guys know the sequence, so we'll move through the second round a little faster. We're going to bring that towel behind our head like the base of the skull. And again, our arms are going to support the head so you should not feel tension in your neck. Make sure you're neutral through the spine, legs together. On an exhale, gentle nod of the chin, and then we come into that ab curl position. Picture you're kind of folding in half at your sternum. Now on your next exhale, we bring those legs up to tabletop, and we're going to start with those alternating taps. So as you inhale, right toes tap the mat, 
exhale, bring it back to tabletop. Gaze is at your knees. So this core section, we're kind of mixing the more deep core work where we just link small movements to breath with those sort of harder, bigger movements as we come into that teaser. We're gonna add in a twist. Let's go as that right foot taps down, twist over to the left, back through center. Twist, center. We're maintaining that ab curl position. Again, if you're feeling tension in your neck, then your upper body is not doing enough work, okay? Your arms are supporting the weight of your skull. One more each side, then we straighten the leg. Let's go, keep the twist going, just straighten the leg, back through center. Press it straight, bring it through center. Feet can be flexed, only pressing the leg as low as you can, maintaining a neutral spine. You can find the breath pattern that works best for you, but make sure you're not holding your breath. Knees stay at tabletop. Head rests on the mat, arms to the ceiling, three, two, one. Towel up to the ceiling, head on the mat, dead bug alternating legs to start. Arms overhead, right leg extends out. Bring it back through center arms to the ceiling. We wanna maintain neutral spine. So think of breath first, movement second. You want to start the exhale, connect to that abdominal wall, then start to press the leg out. And as you get the hang of that, that firing pattern, then you can make it smoother. One more each side, then both legs go together. Both together. Legs do not need to press very low, okay? Again, feel that connection to your abdominal wall, that bracing sensation before, just a split second before you press those legs out. Three more, then we take it to our teaser. To start that teaser, knees stay bent the whole time. Last two. Last one. Pause with the knees at tabletop, bring those arms overhead, teaser bent knees, let's go. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. As you exhale, nod the chin, vertebrae by vertebrae, you come to balance behind your sitting bones, elongate through the thoracic and cervical spine as the arms reach overhead. Start to scoop through the lower spine as you roll back down. Inhale, arms up, <sighs> exhale, roll up. Now, if you're advanced, you can roll back down, keeping the arms overhead, biceps by your ears, or you can take the variation where you reach those arms back forward and then roll down, up to you. Two, two more like this. Now we're gonna keep this going, but the legs will straighten at the top as arms go overhead. Inhale, arms up, exhale, come to balance behind those sitting bones, arms reach overhead, legs straighten. Now I'm very tight through the hamstrings, so you'll notice my legs are at a kind of low hover, and that is okay, all right? Everyone's V shape at the top here is gonna look different. Maybe your legs and chest are very close to each other, maybe those legs are closer to the floor. Let's do just one more and then we're gonna keep those legs straight, okay? So after this one, legs stay straight. <sighs> Exhale, roll up, balancing behind the sitting bones, legs stay straight now, roll it back down, legs at that hover, arms overhead. <sighs> roll up. <sighs> now your goal is to keep the legs in a fixed position in space and the torso is just rolling up to meet them, which is easier said than done. You're gonna notice they're gonna kinda wanna rock down and up. We have three more, you can do it. We hold at the top of this one. Hold. You got it. You're done with your core work. After this, we move on to side body in three, 
two, one, with control, roll it down, hug your knees into your chest. Woo. Okay, now the setup for the side body is we're gonna need one glider. You're going to, so you can take that towel and you can just fold it. And we're gonna want our lower half on the mat, but we're gonna want some room for sliding. So I'm just gonna flip my mat. You might just be able to change your body position though. So right hand is gonna be on the glider. We're gonna be sitting on our right hip. The knees can be bent and stacked. Now we're going to stay very active through the side body. We're trying to connect to our lats here in this whole armpit area. Big challenge for the shoulders as well. To start, I want you to wrap your left arm around your waist, just so you kind of have this tactile cue to stay lifted, and we're not gonna sink into the side body like this, okay? So we're gonna press your hand into the floor, push away so we're in a stable shoulder position. We're gonna slide this arm out and back in. Start just a few inches though, okay? So inhale, start to slide that hand out, and then as you exhale, activate through this area to pull it back in. Don't go out too far. We will take it all the way to the ground coming up, but when we do, we're gonna use our left hand for support. To start, I just want you to get the motion down. Inhale, slide it out, exhale. So notice when I slide out, I'm not doing this, I'm not side bending. I'm staying very active through the obliques. So coming up, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this left hand to the floor. We're gonna slide all the way down to lay on our side body. And we're gonna use our left hand for support to bring ourselves back up to the top. For now though, I want you to try sliding out just a little farther than you have been. All right, challenge yourself. How far out can you go? Still being able to come up unassisted. Three more like that. Open through the chest, broad across the collarbones. One more time unassisted. Left hand is gonna to come to the floor in front of you. You're gonna slide all the way down, ear coming to arm, you're on the floor. Now as you exhale, use this left hand and then connect to the armpit, bring yourself to the top. So I just want this left hand to come into play, the bottom half, use it and as soon as the right arm can take over, release it. Three more. You're inhaling as you slide out. Last full wrap. And then with control, I want you to slide all the way down Ear rests on shoulder. We're going to switch the focus into the outer hips. Make sure you're lifted through the side body, left fingertips content, and I want you to straighten out this top left leg. You're going to point as you sweep the leg forward. Give me a little pulse, then flex the foot as you sweep it back. Inhale, forward, exhale, flex, sweep it back. Now we're keeping the leg at hip height and we want as little rocking through the pelvis as possible. Side body is engaged. So we're staying, keeping equal length through both sides of the waist. Now coming up, we are gonna hold that leg in front of us. Foot will be flexed and we're gonna do a little pulse up. Next time you sweep that leg forward, pause, flex the foot. It's a little pulse up. Now, if this is too tough or you find yourself tucking your tailbone, you need to sweep the leg back a little bit, okay? So your body doesn't need to be in a 90 degree angle with the leg. It might be more like 45. Coming up next, we're gonna straighten out this bottom leg as well. So we'll be in one long line. And we're gonna lift and lower this top leg. In four, pulse for three, 
In two, keep the leg at hip height, sweep it back, straighten out your bottom right leg as well. It's gonna stay grounded to start. You're going to point as you lift the top left leg, flex as you lower, point to lift, flex to lower. The pointing and flexing is because whether your foot is pointed or flexed, that changes the muscular emphasis. If ever it's too confusing, it's overcomplicating the move though. You can always just hold either pointed or flexed and lift and lower from there. Now we're going to do both legs together coming up next. Both feet will be pointed, they'll lift together, lower together, inner thighs engaged to hold them. In three, two, one, both legs together, both feet pointed, legs stay touching each other as you lift and lower. Now here's the deal, you're lifting without rocking the pelvis and rolling into your side body. So this doesn't have to be a, a high lift, think length. Exhale, lift. Now you're using your top hand for support, but we're not rolling forward through this top shoulder, so stay open across the chest. Final piece of this, okay? Upper half is going to lift with the legs, all right? And we're gonna try to do it with our top arm on our hip, so it's gonna be a big stability challenge. In three, two, last lift, lower those legs, bring your left arm on top of your hip, inhale to prepare. As you exhale, everything lifts up and lower. Maybe that bottom right hand is sliding in and out a little bit. So we're once again active through the right side lats. Four more. Woo. Can you slide that glider in a little bit as you lift? It's gonna be just a couple inches. Last time. And done, I want you to bend the knees, take a quick counter stretch for this right arm, sweep it up and overhead. Now we're gonna continue the work that we just started on this left leg, we're gonna to come to standing. All right, so I have my mat set up this way so that I have room to slide. You could just move your mat out of the way altogether though. I'm going to have my left foot on the mat and the ball of my right foot on the glider. Focus is gonna be this front left leg, spread out through those left toes. We're gonna to start with just a slide. Now I want your hips square, feet about sitting bones distance apart so you're not cross walking on a tightrope. We're gonna hinge forward with the torso as those hips slide back. So shoulders over front knee, and then you press that left foot down into the floor as you rise up, firing through the left side glutes. So the focus of this sliding leg series today, posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes. We'll mix in some mid back as well with some arm movements. Now, if you are someone who's pretty flexible through your hips, I want you to make sure that you're not coming so low that you're hanging out in your hip flexibility like this, okay? So we wanna stay active. You only go as low as you can, remain in an active lunge position. Now, coming up, we're gonna just work the bottom half of this lunge. We're gonna reach our fingertips towards the mat. Maybe your fingertips will tap the mat, maybe they won't, okay? I don't want you to round forward through the upper body, so we'll just get as low. We'll get the fingertips as close to the floor as possible. So next time you come down to the bottom, I want you to pause, square those hips, big hinge forward, reach your fingertips towards the floor without rounding your shoulders. Now we're gonna sink down to your absolute lowest lunge, maybe fingertips tap. Come up just halfway, okay? Building up that burn all the way down. Up just halfway. If your fingertips are tapping the mat, you're not transferring weight into them. We're gonna take this into a combo. We're gonna do the bottom half, just like we're doing. And then when we're halfway up, we're gonna launch forward into a single leg deadlift, lifting this back right foot off of the mat. Let's do it all the way down, halfway up. You're gonna hinge forward, and as you do, I want you to do a reverse fly. Open those arms up whew, as your back right leg lifts. As the arms close down, that back foot lands on the glider. Lower all the way to the mat, up just halfway. Launch into your single leg deadlift, reverse fly. Up halfway. My dogs, I swear. <laughs> Biggest pain in the butt. Just two more. <sighs> Two 
Now, next time you go into that reverse fly, you are going to hold, hold. All right, now the arms are gonna to continue to do that reverse fly as we tap and lift this back leg. Right toes tap the floor and lift. I just have to hold on to the couch with my uh, right hand so that my dogs don't knock me over, <laughs> but try to do both arms together. You are unlocked through your standing left knee. We're not transferring weight into the right toes. You can do it, three more. We start from the top with that sliding back lunge. Last time. Ball of the back foot lands on the glider, come up tall. We start from the top with that sliding back lunge. So we're gonna go through that whole thing one more time. We'll move a little quicker through it though, okay? And then you'll just have one final thing at the end, really challenging balance. And then we'll come back down to the mat. So we're gonna work the bottom half, fingertips will reach towards the mat. Next time you come to the bottom, I want you to pause. So square off through the hips, so you might need to take this front left hip and drop back a little bit. Fingertips reach towards the floor. Down all the way, up just halfway. Down all the way, maybe fingertips tap the floor, maybe they don't, up just halfway. Woo! Not walking on a tightrope, keep those feet hips distance apart. And now we take it into our combo. Down all the way, up halfway. Launch forward into that single leg deadlift as you fly those arms, but we don't sink into the lower back, okay? So you need to stay engaged to the core. When you do that fly, the shoulder blades retract, but we don't arch into our lower back. Give me just one more. We are gonna hold that single leg deadlift up next, tapping and lifting that back leg. Let's go. Tap and lift with that fly if you can. Now to finish up, we have a little balance challenge. We keep the back right leg hovering. We're gonna stand with a knee drive. Next time you fly, you can keep your hands at heart center. Now I want you to come up to stand as you do. Draw that right knee forward and up. Kick that right leg straight in front of you. Bend the knee. You're gonna kick the right leg behind you as you do deadlift on that left side. Come up. Kick it forward and send it back, go slow. You can keep a hand on a chair for balance if you need it. Just two more. We hold the second. Next time you stand and kick your right leg forward, you hold. Fire through the left side glutes, whoop. Kick that right leg forward and hold. Square through the hips, level through the hips. Don't tuck under with the tailbone, you're here for four, for three, for two, and one. Ah. Shake it out, okay. Side body series, and that standing sliding work on the other side. Let's make our way back down to the mat. So before we get into this side body series, I want you to do something real quick for me. Take your right hand and I want you to bring it under your left armpit, like right here. And with your left hand, I want you to picture you're trying really hard to take the lid off of a pickle jar, something that you can't untwist it, okay? And I want you to just see, can you feel these muscles light up and engage right here? As you do that, you're kind of twisting and locking into place. So that is the engagement I want you to get as we do this slide, okay? So we think of really dialing in, keep this locked active position, and then slide in and out from there, okay? So you can even keep this right hand under your armpit if that helps you. All right, so let's sit on our left hip. Uh, left hand is on the glider, can't talk. Make sure those hips are stacked, one on top of the other. Open through the chest. Again, push that ground away active through here in the side body. We're gonna start with that unassisted slide. So start small, just out a few inches, in a few inches, firing through the lats. And then we can gradually make it a little bigger, a little bigger, but we're not coming all the way down just yet. 
Now, as you slide out, you should be able to see your hand in your peripheral vision. If you can't, it's too far behind you, okay? So it can almost be like an inch in front of you or straight out, but just don't let it go behind. Inhale it down, exhale, connect to the lats, slide it up. Now check in on the side body as we slide out. We're not sinking in, we're not side bending like this. You're thinking neutral. So I'll do it with the hand on the hip just so you can see. So for these last four, challenge the distance, okay? Try to go out maybe a couple inches more than you have been. We're gonna bring the right hand in as support after that. Two more unassisted. Last time. Now we're gonna slide all the way down. And as we do, right hand is gonna come to the floor in front of us for support ear to the arm. As you exhale and lift up, start with support from this right hand, and then when the left hand can take over, you remove it from the floor. So it just kind of comes in at the bottom half as needed. So I want you to come all the way down, bringing that ear to the arm, just to mix in this little element of shoulder mobility. Can you come all the way from this position? and up. So it might feel a little awkward if you're tight through the shoulders, might feel a little clunky. That is okay. That's why we are using our top right hand to support the movement. So we're not putting too much stress on this bottom left shoulder. We want to challenge it. We don't want to strain it or put it into a position that it can't support. Now I really want you to try not to use this supportive hand for the whole range of motion, okay? So it comes in at the end, on the way up. Even if it's just the last couple inches, I do want you to remove that hand from the floor just so that we're not totally cheating. You have two more, that's it. Last full range. And then this time we take it all the way down to the floor rest your head on that outstretched arm. We're going to straighten this top right leg. It is at hip height. We're going to sweep it forward as we point, little pulse, flex and sweep it back. Now as this leg is sweeping forward and back, we're maintaining a neutral spine. So we're using our breath. We're staying stable through the pelvis and our obliques are engaged so that we're keeping equal length through both sides of the waist. Oops, I'm messing up the pointing and flexing of my foot. I'm sorry. Again, it's point as you sweep forward, flex as you sweep back. If you mess it up, you mess it up. Don't worry. So hip extension, hip flexion. So we're waking up the outer hip here. Fairly gentle with our outer hip work today. We'll really save the heat for the legs for that sliding series. Leg is staying parallel to the floor. Keep reaching it long, okay? We'll hold it forward in the sweep. Foot will be flexed. Little pulse up to the ceiling. Next time you sweep it forward, pause. Flex the foot. Reach it long. Don't tuck the tailbone. Little pulse is up. If you're tucking your tailbone, you need to sweep the leg back. Little pulse. Up next, this bottom leg will straighten out. We'll lift and lower this top leg. Torso will be in line with the legs. So your body's in one long line. Pulse for four, three, two. Keep this right leg at a hover. Sweep it back. Straighten out the left leg to meet it. You're going to point to lift, flex to lower. Bottom foot can stay flexed, grounding down into the floor for support. Hips are stacked one on top of the other, so you're not rocking back onto the side of your butt. Top right fingertips can be on the floor for support in front of you, but we're staying open through the chest. Now again, focus is outer hip here, but we're gonna bring back in the left side body, the left lats here, that left armpit area coming up. 
Both legs are gonna go together after this rep. Lower, point both feet, keeping the legs glued together. As you exhale, they lift. They inhale to lower. Think of reaching the legs long and then up. We'll keep this leg lift going up next. We'll bring the right hand onto our top hip. We'll lift through the upper body as well, trying to slide this left hand in just a couple inches as we do. It's tough, it's a big stability challenge. And if it's too much, you can always keep these supporting right fingertips on the floor. Last two. Last time. Now take this right hand, bring it on top of your hip, okay? Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, we come up into that lateral flexion and then we lower back down. So it is a shallow side bend. That bottom hand is probably not gonna slide in very far, just an inch or two. Whew. Didn't happen that rep for me. Now make sure that you are not folding in half, which I just noticed myself doing. So we're staying open across the front of the hip joint. Four more. Last time. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Bend the knees. Let's take a counter stretch for this left shoulder. Sweep that arm up and over. All right, we're going to come to standing. We're going to really focus in on that right leg now. Okay, so I have my mat this way so that I have space to slide behind it. My right foot is going to be on the mat. You don't need the mat at all, though. You could just do it on the floor. And then the ball of my left foot is going to be on that glider. I have my heel lifted. I'm going to square off through my hips. My feet are sitting bones distance apart, so I'm not walking on a tightrope. I don't have the leg out to the side, okay? They're going to stay on sort of these parallel tracks. We're going to start with a sliding back lunge. So really ground down through that right foot. Hips are going to slide back as you bend into that front right knee. We hinge forward with the torso as we do so. And then you bring it up to the top. So we slide it down and then you stamp that right foot into the floor to come up. So notice my shoulders are staying stacked right over this front right knee. My back left leg is staying straight. Minimal weight in it. So when I come to the top, I'm not pulling through the back leg. I'm pushing down with the front leg. So big emphasis on the posterior chain in the sliding leg series, hamstrings, glutes. So coming up, we have our first round of variations. We're gonna start by just doing the bottom half of this lunge. Fingertips are gonna reach towards the floor. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor, we're gonna get that low. Maybe they don't, which is fine as well. But we're gonna stay open through the chest as we do it, so we're not gonna round forward, okay? Next time you come to the bottom, I want you to pause, make sure you have that big hinge forward, and you're just gonna reach your fingertips towards the floor. All right, now bottom half all the way down, maybe fingertips to half, come up just halfway. All the way down, they don't have to touch, maybe they do though, up halfway. So what we're gonna do is now combo this. It's gonna be down all the way, up halfway, and then we'll launch into a single leg deadlift, taking this left foot off of the glider, bringing it to a hover. So let's do that, down all the way, up just halfway, and then we're gonna hinge forward into this single leg deadlift and give me a fly of the arms. Back foot lands, we drop all the way back down. Up halfway, lift that back leg, fly the arms, single leg deadlift. Lower the arms, back foot lands, slide it down. Up just halfway, single leg deadlift. Two more. Last time, and then we're going to hold that single leg deadlift. Now just that back foot is going to tap the floor as we do our fly. So our torso is staying fairly parallel to the floor. 
We're not transferring weight into the back foot. We just tap the toes and lift. We're going to start from the top with that full range sliding back lunge in three, two, one. Now plant the ball of that left foot on the glider. Come all the way up. Woo! All right, second time through, sliding back lunge all the way down, all the way up. Second time through is going to be quick. It'll be the same pattern, just adding in one thing at the end. Mixing in some balance work here as well. So we're going to work the bottom half of this up next. Next time you come to the bottom, fingertips reach towards the floor, big hinge forward. Sink as low as you can, up just halfway. All the way down, up just halfway. Woo. Take it to your combo, all the way down, halfway up. Hinge into your single leg deadlift with a reverse fly. Back foot lands, sink it to the bottom. Up halfway, fly with that single leg deadlift. Just one more. And now I want you to hold the deadlift and the back toes are going to tap and lift as we fly the arms. Now our final little balance challenge, we're gonna move between our single leg deadlift into a stand. Back leg, back left leg is gonna stay hovering the whole time. So arms can stay at heart center, but I want you to lift that back leg up in your single leg deadlift. Now we're going to start to stand upright, draw the left knee up. Can you kick the leg forward? Oops, sorry, squeaky. Bend the knee and then kick the leg behind you as you hinge. So as we hinge and stand on the right side, that left leg kicks behind us and then in front of us. If you need some balance assistance, have your hand on a chair or a wall. One final time, we hold with the leg in front of us at a hover. Let's do it. This is where you finish, squeeze into the right side glutes, kick your left leg forward and hold your level through the hips. I don't care how high that left leg is, hold for three, for two, and one. Oh, done. Okay, we're gonna need both gliders to finish up. We're gonna come down on the mat with some more sliding upper body work, prone work. Let's do it. Okay, final section before we cool down. You're gonna want one hand on each glider and you're gonna want space in front of your mat to slide. You'll want your knees down on the mat and you'll probably want to uh, space it so that your hips would be on the mat if they were lowered because they will come all the way down. All right, now I want your hands under your shoulders, shoulder distance apart. Knees together, squeeze through the glutes. So from the knees to the crown, your head is one long line. What we're gonna do is pretty much a single arm push up. One arm is gonna slide out while the other one does a push up. You're gonna lower yourself with control all the way down to the floor. You're gonna sweep that arm back behind you and then we'll press up and we'll just alternate sides. I have that little preview on the screen here so that you know what to expect. All right, ready? Let's start by sliding that right arm out. You're gonna bend into the left. With control, come all the way down, nose to the floor. Now you're going to sweep this right arm out and around. So now both hands are under your shoulders and on an exhale, you bring yourself back up. Other side, left arm slides out with control all the way to the mat. Circle that arm around, both hands under shoulders. Exhale, press it up. Keep alternating. Now coming up, you have a choice. You can continue to alternate or we will switch to both arms at the same time sliding out. Either way, we're gonna do one more each side. Now you can either continue to alternate or we're gonna do both arms together, okay? Fire through the glutes. With control, you slide those arms all the way out, lower to a prone position. Circle the arms out and around, broad through the collarbones, hands under your shoulders. Exhale to press it back up. Slide them out, lowering with control. 
circle them around. Exhale, press it up. Twice more. One more full rep, and then we will hold it down in a prone position. This time, I want you to slide yourself all the way out to that prone position, nose lightly to the floor, and pause. Neutral through the spine and the pelvis. Take your legs out wide and externally rotate them, okay? We're gonna come into a sliding seal. We're gonna be really active through the glutes. Inhale to repair as you exhale. You're gonna slide up into a spinal extension. So my hip bones are off the mat. My pelvis, my pelvic, my <laughs> pubic bone is down on the mat. And then we're gonna slide out. So will there be some extension in your lumbar spine? Yes, but not a ton, okay? Because we have a lot of core engagement and a ton of glute engagement so that we don't just sink into the lower back. We slide it up. We slide it out. Now I'm exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down, because it helps uh, me stay connected to my abdominal wall. But you may find inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down works best for you. As long as you're breathing, I'm happy. So you should really feel your glutes firing at the top. We're gonna keep this going, but we're gonna add in a tricep dip at the top. So you slide it up. You bend the elbows, tapping them to the mat. You straighten, slide back down nose to the mat. Lots of upper body sliding work today. Again, like I said, focus is really connecting to that armpit area. Whole, all the arms, whole part of the arms though, really. One more combo and then we're gonna hold at the top and we're just gonna finish with those tricep dips. Next time you come into that spinal extension, hold, glutes are fired, tap and lift. You can do it, tap and lift. Four, three, two, one. I want you to slide it all the way down. I want you to bring the hands under your shoulders and I want you to press back into a shell stretch. It's like an active child's pose. Give that spine some flexion after all that extension. All right, so you have a second to catch your breath. We're gonna go through that whole thing one final time and then we cool down, okay? You can do it. One hand on each glider. We'll start with those alternating sliding push-ups, circling around, pressing back up. Okay. Let's get into position. One hand on each glider, and then we are open through the chest in a nice stable position with the shoulders. So right arm will slide out to start. Make sure your glutes are active so you're not in a tabletop. You're really in that modified plank position. Legs together, active through the adductors. Let's go. Slide down with control, right arm slides out. So left side is kind of doing a single arm push up. Sweep it around, exhale to press up. Left arm slides out, circle it around, exhale to press up. Keep alternating. Now we're gonna do one more each side, or you can continue to alternate the whole time. All right, either continue to alternate, or we're gonna go both arms together, five reps, you can do it. With control, slide those arms out, lowering down. Circle the arms back and around, brought across the collarbones, connected to your abdominal wall, Exhale to press up. Woo! That was struggle bus. Two more. Last full rep. And then we are gonna slide it all the way down to that prone position, arms overhead. Separate your legs wide, okay? About as wide as the mat. 
and I recommend externally rotating them so toes point out. You're neutral through the pelvis and the spine, so you're engaged through your core and your glutes. Press your legs down firmly. We're going to come into that sliding extension. You come up. So my hip bones are coming off the mat. My pubic bone is not. Tons of engagement through the glutes and the abdominals. Yes, you'll be in a little bit of lumbar extension, but it's not excessive. Now think back to that side body slide we were doing, that lat slide. I want you to try to engage through the armpits in the same way. So again, think of kind of locking in as you slide up. All right, let's add in that tricep dip. You slide to the top, bend the elbows. Now you need to spiral the triceps back, okay? So the creases of the elbows point forward, the pointy parts of your elbow bones point straight back. If you have your elbows angled out to the side, it's going to bother your arms doing that tricep dip, okay? Open through the chest, wrap your triceps back, little dip, slide it out. You are so close to the end of this class. One more in the combo, and then we will hold at the top. You'll give me that tricep dip to finish. Next time you slide up, hold. Little tricep dips to finish. You got it. Active through the glutes. Ooh, get a little shaky. Keep wrapping those triceps back. Elbow creases point forward. Tap and lift. You're engaged to that abdominal wall. Firing through the glutes. Four more. You're done in three. Two. Last time. With control, slide it out. Press yourself back into that shell stretch. Ooh, start with an active shell stretch to get that rounding of the spine. And then you can just collapse, relax into it, child's pose. Bum to your heels, flip the palms up to the ceiling. Couple breaths here. Staying on your forearms, I'm gonna kind of come up into a forearm tabletop position. From here, send your butt back to your heels again, bending the elbows, hands come behind your head. A little stretch to the backs of the arms. If you don't feel it, you just got to send your butt back even farther. Let's come up to a tabletop position for a thread the needle stretch. Right arm is going to weave under left, cheek to the mat, and then walk your left arm forward. Breathing into that mid-back armpit area. Walking your left hand back in. Let's take it over to the other side. Left weaves under right, cheek to the mat. Walk your right arm forward. Walking your right hand in, press through tabletop, and let's come to a comfortable seated position. Right knee can be bent, left leg outstretched. We'll start with a side bend, so you can just slide your left hand down your shin or bring it to your foot. Right arm is going to sweep up and over, side body stretch. And then we'll shift the focus into more of the back of the leg, we'll square it off. So now chest squares off towards the thigh, both hands to the foot or the shin. And we'll finish by doing the other side. Right leg stretches out. Left knee bent. Start with the side bend. And then we'll square it off. Chest to the thigh. Both hands to the foot or the shin. up finish with one breath together inhale arms up exhale release 
And that's your class. Awesome work. I'll see you guys next time.